Hello reformers and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. Now when we left off, we were attempting to do a little something and that little something was to create our own knighthood order. And on that note, I've actually done quite a lot. However, I wanted to start the episode here because we have been awarded an achievement. There's a good reason why I have also gotten this because you, you may be thinking to yourself, why are you doing regular tournament? No, it's not regular tournaments. It's not regular tournaments. It's a Noldor tournament every single month. And I have spent, I think, hmm, I am unsure how long. I think I have spent seven in-game months. Yes, seven in-game months going to Noldor tournaments and attempting to win them. I've won every single one so far. I think only one I came relatively close to losing it, but that was just because we were up against an Aldor Twilight Knight, but it wasn't anything to worry about. Anyway, what, we'll, what we're going to see on the screen right now is my creation of the Knighthood Order. So you can actually take a look at that right now. It's, it should be on the screen. And, uh, well, it is a doozy. <laughs> we created the Tea Time Troublemakers once again, because uh, that was actually a, uh, a Knighthood Order that we created in a previous series of Pendor, and I'm pretty pretty happy with that name, to be honest. And um, now, <laughs> as you can see right here, we have Earls of Grey, and we have Biscuits of Rich Tea because that's actually that's actually a biscuit I like. I like in uh, I like dipping those in tea. Uh, if you've never had a rich tea biscuit, highly recommend trying it out. If you haven't had a rich tea biscuit, then get any biscuit and dunk it. Yes dunk it into that tea. It's uh, it's pretty nice. Anyway, any any tea, actually. It doesn't have to be Earl Grey. It can be anything, obviously. Anything you like. Anyway, the point is, I've been doing quite a bit of, of everything here. As you can see, I have two days remaining until the Kraken Shield is ready for our knights. And then uh, we have Ebony Plate Mail. And that's going to take one more day to be ready for the Biscuits of Rich Tea. So uh, that that is pretty amazing. So yes, we're done with uh, basically everything in regards to our knighted order. And you may be thinking, well, how? How did you do that? How did you do that so quickly? It's actually, <laughs> it took me, uh, it took me multi basically multiple days of playing. Multiple days of playing Pendor. And uh, that's generally something that you, you got to understand when you see an episode that anyone anyone has recorded of anything, basically, uh, if it requires a huge amount of time, then uh, there's going to be multiple days, if not weeks, you know, I I input to, to, you know, get to a point where that is actually a thing. As you can see, I'm actually at January 3rd. Yeah, January 3rd now, and it is now the year 356 instead of the year 355. And we have basically the same the same exact people. My weekly wage is pretty insane. Uh, my money. Now, here's what's really cool. You see that there's 100 prisoners in here? I didn't actually have 100 prisoners in here up until, I think, November or December or something like that. And I think a, uh, a nearby lord decided to, uh, you know, go into Seven Cross Keep and uh, take refuge, and he placed his prisoners in there, which is pretty amazing. So, uh, what else has changed? Well, actually, quite a lot. It's been about seven or eight months in-game, and I have basically, all I've done, you, you see, now here's the thing, you haven't actually missed anything, really. The only thing that you've missed is me upgrading my knighthood order, and you've already seen the creation of it, of course, but me upgrading my knighthood order, it takes a long time. I mean, anyone that's played Pendor or seen my uh, my previous series on Pendor, you'll know it takes a long time. It takes about 50, 30, maybe even 20 days, dependent on which kind of gear you choose to upgrade. So let's zoom out and actually take a quick look at uh, what's going on here. As you can see, the Kingdom of Sarlian, I have not helped them. I have not helped them in the least. But the Kingdom of Sarlian has gone here and basically destroyed the Feared's Vein. We're currently at war against the Feared's Vein, and as you can see, they are being absolutely murdered. Now, amusingly enough, seven months or eight months ago in the previous episode, we were actually at war against the Feared's Vein again. But that's the point. We actually made peace with them, 
And then we were at war against the Dashar, and as you can see, they actually took Laria from us, which is something that I am definitely going to want to try and take back. And otherwise, the uh, Kingdom of Ravenstone appears to be basically untouched. No one appears to have uh, tried to attack them or anything. The Empire is basically the same, but we did take Ethos from the Dashar, because that was a... Uh, a Dishar uh, Fief, because they took that from the Empire originally, of course. So, yeah, there's there's an update on that. Now, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be not managing this, thank you very much, but I am going to be going into my little, uh, little garrison here. Now, my Biscuits, they level up from Salian Man-at-Arms, and they are pretty easy to level up. And otherwise, we... Hmm... Um, I think we need, uh, oh, what do we need now? We need uh, Salian Knights. Mm. They level up from Salian Knights, the Earls of Grey. So there's that. Anyway, these guys, uh, I actually can't show you their gear right now because they're still being upgraded and, and, and things like that. But uh, once I'm able to show you, I will uh, I will, I, I will obviously show you. So <laughs> yes, let's try and do that, shall we? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about 80 of these guys just to prevent myself from being attacked by some random random imbecile similar to myself. And uh, we'll see if uh, maybe what I can do is upgrade my strange rune bow because there's something that I've also been doing. As you can no doubt tell, I've actually been, well, requesting a baggage train every, uh, well... I wouldn't say that I've been extremely vigilant on getting baggage trains from my uh, from my steward in Seven Cross Keep. I haven't gone in there every every single 14 days to get one, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten of them. And as you can see, I actually have three Qualis gems, a Noldor spirit horse, some some armor, a shield, and we also have some sturdy female Noldor armor and this. Yeah, lordly Noldor noble armor. This is the most insane piece of armor that I have ever seen. Pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I can't wear it because it requires 30 strength. Now, I've gotten all this from doing Noldor tournaments. And you know that I already had a Qualus gem from previously from another Noldor tournament. And I used, uh, well, I had, I had two. And I used one to create the Knighthood Order, and I gained another two from the other Noldor tournaments. Now, I have, I believe, completed... Hmm. Let me... Let me see here for a second. Uh, I think it's this. Uh... Yes, there we go. We have actually won 14 Noldor tournaments now. And uh, I guess that's the reason why we got that achievement at the very beginning. And uh, my honor has gone up as well, mainly because I was actually releasing most of the, uh, the Noldor, the Noldor prisoners and things. So if you release the, the nobles, then you gain honor for that as well. And I had a whole bunch because there were quite a few Salian vassals doing battle with those guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to travel down to the Hidden Mines of Alaziz now that I've caught you up with everything. And I'm going to try and see if I can get my Ruby Rune Bow finally. Hey, you again? What kept you? Got, uh, got lost? You have wine for me? Yeah, I, I do have some wine for you, actually. There we go. Ah, that hits the spot. Ah, yes. Where were we? Hey, you. Wake up. <laughs> Alright. You again. Do you have anything else? I might take a look at my inventory. There we go. Ah, let me see what I can do. Hmm. I can put one of the gemstones into your item socket. And? Patience, you must have my... Hmm. Qualis gems, rune weapons, wine, not enough. What? I I need more wine? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, there we go. Your biscuits of rich tea have acquired the new ebony plate mail with cape. Yeah, that's that's much better armor than, the, what, than what they were using before, because I actually upgraded their body armor pretty early on in their training and they only had a very small amount of strength at that point so they couldn't actually wear anything a bit you know any better anyway i've actually figured out why that happened basically uh i did not have my rune bow in the inventory so that would that is the main reason there you go so let's see here insert ruby into strange rune bow all right there we go fantastic Alright, so we now have a ruby rune bow, and we can take a look 
at its stats. Oh yeah, look at that. 50, 50 piercing damage. Oh, I can't wait to use this. And also, of course, because the amount of time that has passed is significant, we also now have an Order Stronghold from the Knights of the Clarion, or well, the Rangers of the Clarion Call that is completely fine. It's completely fine now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send out a whole bunch of Order Patrols to Laria, and there's going to be a very good reason for that. Can you guess? Can you guess the reason why I'm going to do that? Oh yeah, I think I'm... <laughs> think I'm gonna take it. Yes, think I'm gonna try and take it. If, if I do not get it, if I am not awarded it, shall we say, I am thinking that I might defect and create my own faction. I don't know how well that's going to really go though, because the Kingdom of Salian is very strong at the moment. However, if I am gonna do that, I think we might have a pretty good opportunity on our hands because if that happens, I will be able to create uh, probably two, maybe even three vassals straight off the bat. And significantly, Lethal Durin, he's fantastic at what he does. Frederick is, is also a fantastic leader. Sigismund is a fantastic leader too. And we also have obviously uh, Sir Jocelyn and uh, Sir Roland and, and all that stuff. So generally they can do quite a bit. Anyway, as you can see, I have placed some additional units in our army here. This is my army composition that I'm going to be rolling with. I'm not entirely sure how effective this is going to be really. I haven't really taken these guys into battle ever before. If I've had to do any fighting, I haven't taken my Knighthood Order units because they were still being updated. So that's that's the main reason for that. Anyway, as you can see, I'm actually taking a couple of Squire at Arms as well into battle so I can actually level them up a little bit faster than my trainer skill was able to do. Anyway, there we go. Uh, I guess <laughs> I guess we're going to try and see how many they have in here actually to begin with. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. All right, they have 31 Rangers of the Clarion Call, and they also have 52 Larian Sentinels. That's a bit harsh, but it is Laria, and it is one of the most important fiefs that we can potentially take. So I think I am going to be attacking these farmers. Can I? Oh, no. Okay, so apparently I can't. I can't attack those farmers. Isn't that great? Okay, so what's this? If you're willing to sell that, sure, why not? I, I, I can't believe they didn't offer that before. Are you serious? That's kind of weird. All right. Well, whatever the case, we have some farmers here. We are going to be attacking them just to uh, get the uh, relation a little bit lower here. And then we're going to be going in to Laria. And let's see what we can do. All right. So Anson thankfully did level up, so he now has nine in engineering over that time where we were just basically standing there. And we... We'll try this. Oh, okay. We're getting, we're getting some people coming out. Bear in mind, I do have my Ruby Rune Bow, so I will be able to hopefully utilize this re relatively nicely. Now, bear in mind that, of course, I still have my reasonably slow sword here, so that's a bit of a shame. But I'm going to try and utilize my bow a little bit here, try and kill these Larian Center. I have no more arrows. Oh, yeah, I remember that. They actually don't give you a huge amount of arrows in these, in these particular situations. Which is annoying, <laughs> but what can you do, I guess? What can you do? I guess the best thing that I can do right now is try to distract the enemy as much as possible and hopefully not get all of my wonderful new Knighthood Order units killed. As you can see, we're already losing a whole bunch of biscuits, and that is not very good. So maybe if I can do something here to maybe distract these guys, maybe just get in their faces, get in their faces as much as possible. That is going to be the thing that we will try to do. Uh, it seems to be working actually not not even too bad, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, as I say, I didn't have a lot of arrows, so I wasn't able to utilize my rune bow as much as I perhaps should have or could have, but well, as you can see, they don't really, to ha they don't really have much of a choice. But yeah, as you can see, my uh, biscuits of rich tea are, 
These guys are just sergeants. Bear that in mind. They are not the best stat-wise. Far from it, actually. They only have about 200 weapon, weapon proficiency in one-handed and in archery. I decided to give them bows instead of crossbows as well because I kind of felt like I would like to have an entire force full of bow users rather than bow users and horse archers plus crossbowmen slash infantry. Even though that would have been a little bit better for longevity's sake, I personally prefer the uh, the other way, the other way around. So that's why I did that. Anyway, let's see if we can actually do something here. Most of my units are pretty decent at archery, as I say. The biscuits have about 200 to maybe 240 archery proficiency, but the Earls of Grey, let me tell you, they have about 300. And 60 or something along those lines because lethal Duran has been training them uh, I think for like four months or something like that And then I sent uh, Sir Jocelyn to do one round as well because he was a little bit better in terms of his power strike But you can currently see what's going on <laughs> There's there's some utter insanity going on here, and uh, I only have 321 archery proficiency. I'm going to need to get that up. Thank you very much. I'm going to need to raise that as fast as I can, because it's a bit sad that me, the leader, has less proficiency than some of my knighthood order units, but I suppose that is to be expected, isn't it? Oh uh, well, never mind. Oh yes, now, I'm not entirely sure if I made the right decision with the knighthood order's melee weapons and i've given them both the same melee weapon now it is a feared's vein axe and i know what you're thinking why would you give them why would you give them a feared's vein axe it doesn't sound very good does it no it doesn't sound very good at all however the main reason why i did that is because it has only 10 less reach than a nordor longsword which is what i was initially thinking of giving them and Personally, I feel like the 10 reach is not going to make that much difference, but a crucial stat that the axe has, in my opinion, that's crucial. Maybe it's not as crucial as, as uh, you may think, but, uh, well, basically I went for it because it's capable of doing bonus damage against shields. And that is, of course, something that's very, very important to me, in my opinion, because it is just capable of destroying shields extremely quickly and... As a result, you know, you're going to be able to uh, destroy the defenders, get in much, much easier, and all that wonderful stuff. So, yeah, that's generally the reason why I would like to do that. Anyway, I <laughs> I kind of thought I'd have a look around here just to see what they actually have. Because as you can see, my units have been absolutely... Are you serious right now? Are we actually going to take this? They kill... Okay, yeah, there you go. That's what happens, I suppose, when you have custom knighthood order units, and that they have been they have been trained up. I mean, you've seen. I have. I literally just today, just today, I spent so many hours. I think I was basically at the, at the PC for I don't even know seven or maybe even well, I think probably six more likely six hours straight just playing Pendor. And while while many of you may think, oh, that sounds like a sounds like a great day, well, if you're just waiting there, <laughs> and you're just waiting for your knighthood order to upgrade themselves, and you're not really having much else to do apart from Noldor tournaments, because I didn't really want to do anything significant to try and make it so that the game didn't change that much, but well, the Kingdom of Salian actually. <laughs> actually did that anyway and there was a good reason why I actually did not even defend Laria as well because I actually wanted to try and capture it for myself and that's exactly what we've done now so pretty good all right so let's go into the streets and see what we can do I have 36 there's some knights of the knights why do I keep saying knights of the clarion core well technically they are knights I suppose but they are rangers of the clarion core thank you very much so let's see if I can do something here this ruby rune bow is so incredible it really is. Look, and there's actually a ruby on the inlay of the uh, of the of the wooden area there. Oh yes, I'm very good at the terminology in, in terms of bows. I I really am not familiar with the bow terminology or anything. Uh, yes, well, whatever the case, it's really cool to see that actually, in my opinion. Okay, so wait a minute. Are we actually losing people? Oh, come come on, come on, Sir Jocelyn and Frederick. What are you doing there? I have no idea. Let's tell everyone to charge in, actually, because 
We kind of need them to do so. Maybe. I kind of need a... Do I need a better weapon? Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I need a better weapon or not. Can, can you guys charge in now? I'm actually distracting them. That would be nice. There we go. Yeah. Well, this weapon is really fantastic when you're on horseback and you're in a field battle. So... That's definitely something to take into account. Bear in mind as well that our Earls of Grey, they are excellent horse archers. Because of course, they have been trained by Lethal Durin himself. So they are really, really good at that. Alright, so let's head in to the final stage. I'm going to try and help out my forces. What? Desert Hunter? Are you, are you serious right now? Kasim, come on now. Kasim, you're going to have to help me out here a little bit fellow. Uh, is he is he actually going to help me? <laughs> ah, yes, there we go. He's actually going in. He's got fantastic armor. How can you think that Kasim's going to die? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just going to fall over due to its weight. Who knows? But yeah, Sara didn't do too much there. She does have very low strength, unfortunately, so that's that's primarily the reason for that. Anyway, as you can see, obviously I did buy a huge amount of food from there and... I have decent amounts of money at the moment, and as I say, the reason why I was able to keep my money up in that in that in, t in that time, obviously, is because of doing tournaments. I mean, it doesn't give you that much, but it does give you a decent amount, and also the amount of prisoners that I was able to sell at the ransom broker. There was, you know, basically like fifty or a hundred put into my garrison like every two weeks or so, because obviously there's a whole bunch of vassals running around and everything, and, ah, oh, so Roland actually found something to wear, very nice. Alright, so we do have, oh, yes, do have a couple of things that I can take here, hmm. Uh, I guess I'll take the Squire, the War Priest, Heavy Cavalry sounds fun, Man at Arms can become one of our Biscuits, that would be pretty good, and then what else do we have, Salian Cavalry, I suppose? That's that's basically it. I mean, is there anything else that I'm missing here that's super good? Not really. I mean, halberdiers maybe, but uh, not the greatest. All right, that's fine. Okay, so now here is the linchpin. Here's the pinnacle of what we're trying to do here. What do you want us to do? This is the question. Do you want us to create our own faction? If King Ulrich does not give this to us, or do you want us to stay loyal to Salian, and see that they conquer the entirety of the map. They basically have already done that, kind of. So, who knows? But, uh, yes, that is the question that I'd like you to answer. If you want, you don't have to. But, yes, anyway, request that Laria be awarded to us. Fantastic. All right, so let's go into the tavern here. Maybe there's a... Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't even capture anyone, which is kind of sad. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we didn't capture anyone. I don't have anything to sell or anything like that. And it really depends on if he wants to give this to us. Now, the main problem with this, of course, is the fact that I don't really have any units to garrison this. I'm going to need to run back and forth pretty precariously. But the main thing that we have to consider here is the fact that the Tushar, they can't attack us. Because we are under the protection of the Kingdom of Salian. So, ah, okay, so he's actually... Hmm. Yeah, he's giving me this, which is a village. Ooh, that's a mm, that's a bit precarious. That is a bit precarious. Okay, well, whatever the case, we've taken Laria back for the Kingdom of Salian. As you can see, the Dashar are doing okay. Seems like the Empire is attempting to fight back a little bit. Uh, Ravenstone not really doing much. And as you can see, the Fiertsvein literally just have High Pass Fortress and Yavik's home remaining. So... If you'd like to uh, see us create our own faction, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching and for joining me, and I will see you next time.